And good evening, everybody. It's time for yet another very busy tropical update on the Weather Channel as we've had so much to talk about of late, and tonight is uh, no exception at that. The good news is here at Atlantic Beach in uh, North Carolina, we have the boats that are docked. And also the fuel docks have been shut down for a long time now, so things are looking much, much better. Let's find out where Hannah's going to go and get an idea of what's happening with Ike. Here's Paul Goodlow. All right, thanks, Jim. Again, right now, Tropical Storm Hannah, still a tropical storm. Sustained winds around 70 miles per hour. The pressure at 8 o'clock was 981. The Air Force Reservist Hurricane Hunters are flying through this hurricane storm, and they've reported a 978 millibar, so a little bit lower pressure was reported through an investigation by the hurricane hunters. They're still out there flying through that, and they will do so uh, throughout the night and into the morning when we expect the landfall of the system as well. Moving on to the north pretty quickly at 20 miles per hour. Now, a lot of folks you even see in Jim's live shot acting like there's no tropical storm at all. That's because the tropical storm winds have not made it on shore yet. In fact, here's the center of tropical storm uh, Hannah, the wind, the tropical storm force winds extend 290 miles out from the center, but definitely kind of heavily skewed on towards the eastern side of the storm. And definitely the right side or the eastern side of the storm, that's the strongest side. So again, North Carolina will feel a lot more effects than perhaps South Carolina will, and even perhaps uh, 50, 100 miles from the center. East of the center, you'll feel stronger winds than perhaps even uh, 20 or 30 miles to the west of the center, perhaps even in South Carolina. So definitely kind of a lopsided storm. The right side, always the strongest. Counterclockwise rotation, uh, that's the kind of the jab, the, the, the body punch coming in on the right side of that storm. So we'll continue to watch this tropical storm make landfall over the next several hours. And with that, we have a lot more impacts coming in. In fact, check out the winds right now. You can see close to the coast, these are... Sustained winds, not even 20 miles per hour yet. Meanwhile, offshore, we're talking 30, 58. So well in that tropical storm force winds. And again, off to the east side of that storm. So it continues to threaten a bigger threat and widespread damage in North Carolina uh, than in South Carolina. But still, you're going to see some damage in South Carolina. What about the water level rise through tomorrow? The biggest will be, again, on the east side of the circulation. So from Myrtle Beach northward to perhaps uh, Cape Hatteras, you can see uh, three to even five feet being uh, the, the sea just coming up that much with the advance of this tropical storm. Could be much higher if it's a stronger hurricane, but fortunately it is not. The rain is also sweeping in right now, just slowly creeping up the North Carolina coastline, and we still have the risk of tornadoes tonight and through tomorrow, actually into Sunday across portions of the Northeast. And flooding, heavy rain is a possibility, but the good news is we're not expecting the eight, the, the 18, the even 25 inches of rain that we've seen with Faye and also with Gustav. We're looking at more perhaps uh, at the most on that four to five inch, but for some areas they could actually use that rain. That is kind of a, the beneficial part of this tropical storm. But it does move quickly. Right now, 20 miles per hour. That will continue to race it on through the mid-Atlantic and then in the northeast New England as we head throughout this weekend. But again, your Saturday not looking the best, but Sunday across much of the east coast far better than your Saturday. So we definitely have to keep an eye on that. And also the waves increasing right now. Some areas could see some pretty strong waves, talking 15 to over 22 foot waves, especially along the North Carolina coast. And we're still going to deal with the gusty winds coming in and bringing down some trees and some power lines. So power outages likely across, I'd say, the eastern quarter of North Carolina as we head tonight into tomorrow. So some folks dealing without power and air conditioning. Still watching Hurricane Ike, 115 miles per hour, moving on to the west, southwest at 15 miles per hour. And that forecast could bring it to potential landfall sometime at the beginning of next week or perhaps into the Gulf of Mexico. Again, days four and five, highly variable with this hurricane, but definitely the impacts initially will be the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas as we head through Sunday evening. Alexandra? Hey.